you guys like warp transitions, I like warp transitions. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create one in After Effects. I mean, this transition here is an iconic transition on this channel. I've been making a couple of these uh, warp transition tutorials. You guys absolutely love them. So I wanted to create another one for you guys, which is no plugins at all. So you guys don't need to worry about the plugins. But one thing you guys do need to worry about is that I just released a new pack. It's called the Ultimate Transitions Bundle, which includes the most essential and the best transitions you can be using for your After Effects projects. And they look absolutely incredible. So to check it out, there's going to be a link down below so you guys can easily go and check it out. Other than that, let's create a warp transition. So here we're in After Effects and I'm using FHD with 24 FPS if you guys want to use the same composition settings as I am. And we've got two clips here, we're going to be creating the transition in between. So what we're going to be starting off with is creating a adjustment layer. So we're going to be pressing Ctrl Alt Y and we can make it 16 frames in width here. So I'm going to go eight frames to the right, just like that, cut it. Here at the transition point, we can create a marker here, just like that. Then go eight frames to the left, cut it just like that. And here the most important effect for this is to use the warp effect, obviously. <laughs> and here we have the uh, warp style, we're going to change it to a fisheye. So we get this kind of look here. In the fisheye here, we're going to set the bend here to minus 100. We're going to keyframe it at the transition point, go to the beginning set it to zero, go to the end, set it to zero as well. So now we already get this look here, this kind of warped look here. Open up the adjustment layer, select the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them like this, then open up the graph here and we can choose a value graph. So we get this look here. I'm going to drag the graph in like this so we get a nice sharp graph and that's going to be creating a little bit more impact to the transition here. We get sharp impact here, boom, looks clean. And then after that, this warp in and of itself is pretty small in my opinion. I like when the whole thing is like warping. So to get even more warp to this, we're going to be adding the effect called CC Lens. And we get this crazy warp look here. And here we're just going to be setting the size to 140 like this. And then we keyframe the convergence at 100 at the transition point. Then go to the beginning, set it to zero. Go to the ending, set it to zero as well. Open up CC lens, select the keyframes, press F9, open up the graph. And here we're going to be making a sharp graph as we did before. So something like this here. Now when we play it, we get this warp look here super clean and then after that to add some motion blur to this you can obviously do that by adding the motion blur icon here on the side you guys can see it's gonna be creating motion blur to our warp transition which already looks amazing we're gonna be adding radial blur to uh, uh, create some interesting blur here and i'm going to change the type here to zoom then the amount here i'm gonna set it to 100 at the transition point keyframe it go to the beginning set it to zero go to the ending set it to zero as well then open up radial blur select the keyframes press f9 open up the graph here and then we make a impact sharp graph here as usual just like that and it's going to look something like this when we play it so we get a lot more blur to the whole warp transition here which looks super super clean and then to create even more impact to this we're going to be adding exposure and then Keep from the exposure at zero at the beginning, then go to the transition point. I'm gonna set the exposure to four, then go to the end, set it to zero. Open up the adjustment layer once again. Exposure, master, and then select the keyframes, press F9, open up the graph again, make a simple sharp graph like this one here to get impact to our transition here. So now when we play, it's gonna look something like this here. Super, super clean warp transition here now if you guys want to save this as a preset just select all of the effects here go to animation save animation preset and here just name it warp transition no plugin for example and then press save now i guess can use it for another time now that was just a simple warp transitions if you want to have the best and the most complex and best looking warp transitions I've made a warp transition pack, which is a part of the ultimate transitions bundle. And what you just need to do is making a adjustment layer. So press Ctrl Alt Y, go to animation presets, use the presets, 
warp transition presets and here is literally the best warp transition here like the these look absolutely incredible we can start off by using the glow distort warp just drag and drop and here on the adjustment layer we get the keyframes here and the middle one is where the transition point is so just drag it on the transition point cut it then make a marker for it if you want to move it around just like that and it's going to look something like this here absolutely incredible warp transition looks super super good and this is no paid plugins at all so you guys don't need to worry about paying for any third-party plugins if you have after effects this whole preset pack is going to work and it looks insanely good my god this looks good now we can try another one create a new adjustment layer and here one i thought looked super super cool is the liquid water one so we can drag and drop it here nice just align it with your transition point and you will be getting this water liquid warp transition here looks super super cool super unique Warp transition here looks absolutely incredible. After that, we can try one last transition here. So let's drag on the ultra radial warp drag and drop. Then just align it with your transition point. And when we play, it's going to look something like this here. Insanely clean radial warp transition here. Absolutely incredible. And this is really going to make your music videos and After Effects projects really, really stand out from the competition here. Using this super liquid warp transitions looks absolutely incredible. And literally anyone with After Effects can get these and use them. So yeah, I'm super proud of these warp transitions and I hope you guys really like them as well. So if you guys want to check them out and check out the ultimate transitions bundle, it's going to be linked down below so you guys can easily go and check it out. And yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial on creating a warp transition in After Effects for the turn out great. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.